Mr. Dane Gerala is the same way. He's an influencer, but he's a Circle Champions member. So is Ms. Giles and Dressels because they're giving unselfishly about helping people build their business. And without further ado, our man of the hour uh, this month, uh, we, we just, I mean, what can we say? He's always, and I'm so glad that he made it to that level because he deserves it. And we had a big thank you last week for him to say thank you to being in the Circle of Champions this quarter and this year. And I'm so happy that he's on our calls. Ladies and gentlemen, get your, get your, get your notepads out your pens and take notes. And without further ado, all the way from Southern California. Think about it. Used to be a bartender, didn't got into movies and acting, and and now he's understanding bigger residuals. You go wait. There's another step above acting where I can get some residuals. And without further ado, the great, the one and only, the influencer, Circle of Champions member, regional vice president, platinum, the one and only, Mr. Dean Girali. Miss Thomas, good morning. Uh, wow, that's some that's some text from Akiko. Did I get that right? Yes, that, that, Akiko. That's amazing. That, it, that's amazing. I, I, you know, I almost don't even want to train what I'm going to train because. By the way, so you guys, when when Al and Al, I don't know the genealogy, so I don't know if Akiko is in your organization. No, sir. I'm no, sir. She's no, not, sir. Okay. not at all. Okay, not so all, so you guys check this out, right? Check this out. This has happened to me. You guys just saw it happen to Al. Uh, Akiko hit the production charts. Um, I know that you guys are on this call. I mean, I think it's like five, I think it's like five days a week. And I do this every other month with you guys. But when you saw Mr. Thomas, who really has become a friend to me through this business, you see someone with his, like you guys, the man has owned banks and he has someone from around the world thanking him for allowing her to be a part of an environment that he set up. Try to cash that check. Can't do it. Can't do it. That, that's, that's, that's why we do this. I know Jocelyn Driscoll has a ton of stories. I've been fortunate to have some really great stories and and you know this is a business that it's sort of a shame that a lot of people don't give themselves the opportunity and they don't give themselves the the chance to experience what you guys just saw because they think it's I'm selling services. I'm, I'm selling services. I am, uh, um, uh, I'm a salesperson and that's not the case. It's not the case. We have services, which are great. I mean, what is, what a smart industry to be in, but this is a business of, of people and it's a business of the heart. And, you know, so Mr. Thomas's response, um, does not, that does not surprise me at all. So, you know, I have, I have no problem taking the time, taking out of the time that I was going to train you guys to recognize Akiko for her accomplishment and Mr. Thomas for the environment that he's created. And I say this every week. And I think what happens is this familiarity breeds contempt. And I say it every single time that I'm on this, this, this call with you guys, how valuable something like this is. And he doesn't need to do it, you know, so Sounds a little bit like a love fest here right now for me to get started, but I'm just telling you that's that's the fact. That's the environment that you're in. So, Mr. Thomas, I know I, I have to believe that everybody on the call is grateful. I see that the numbers are going up, so that's kind of fun. You know, Thursdays for this month, I guess. Um, I know they appreciate it. I certainly appreciate your friendship and your mentorship, and uh, uh, I know the company does as well. So, Akiko, well done. Really, really well done. Way to go. Way to go. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back in gallery because I can't look at myself too much. So <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm going to dive in. So we covered the environment that Mr. Thomas has created. So with this window of time that I have with you guys, I've been making notes and I got something to go over with you from a book and um, we're going to dive in. So I do a regional director 
and above call for the regional directors on my team once a week. And once a month, we're now including the regional coordinators. Uh, what a great position. I mean, God, like the company didn't need to do that, you guys. I mean, do you all understand? Like, I know a lot of you are probably ETLs on this call. Maybe some brand new, newly promoted regional coordinators, Twyla Gaines. So proud of you. Um, this regional coordinator position is a big freaking deal, you guys. The company, which they didn't need to. So I want you to hear me. They didn't need to do this. They created a position to bridge the gap from executive team leader to regional director, getting you paid in a space that you were not getting paid before. So I want to say that again. They created a position for you. If you take action, which I'm going to cover, they will pay you for the work that you were doing where you were making no money at that position, working under your ETLs, and now you're getting paid these bonuses. You guys, this is significant information for those who take advantage of it. For the people who do not take advantage of it, it's just another thing. Who cares? Big deal right? Like big deal. You know, I heard Greg Provenzano years and years and years ago, he, he, at one of the nationals and Al, you may remember this. He goes, he, here's what he said. So I want you to hear up. I, I know some of you are driving. Some of you are at work. I need you to hear this. If you want this to work for you, here's what he said. He goes, what difference does it make if ACN goes on to be a four, five, six, eight, ten billion dollar company, if you don't get your piece, who cares? Big deal. Big whoop. What difference does it make? This is another company doing billions of dollars. What difference does it make if you don't get your piece? So here's what I would add. What difference does it make if you do? What difference does it make if you do get your piece? So are you guys ready for me to dive into a few things? Okay, how about the rest of you? Just checking. <laughs> Okay, so um, you guys have heard leaders are readers, right? And, you know, I'm not the best reader in the world and I'm not the fastest. I have to, I, I have to, I'm trying to get better. I am getting better actually. But a lot of times I'll have to reread things a few times, maybe even stuck on a page a few times until I try to get what it is that the message is. Does that make sense? And sometimes, like, God, am I dumb? Like, have I not? Am I not? Am I missing this? And I got to go back and reread it. And that's just, you know, I'm getting better. But anyway, so this is a book that I have to do that with a lot because I have an original version of this book, and it's the it's the unedited text from 1937. So I hear you, Nick. All right, so check this out. So this is a book that you guys have heard us talk about a lot called Think and Grow Rich. Okay, so here it is. So I'm going to show you guys something. Well, I'm going to tell you about it. All right, so check it out. A lot of you are nodding your heads and you're smiling like maybe you've read it. So here's what I would challenge you to say. Did you read the whole thing or did you get a few chapters in and you're familiar with it and it was tough to read and you might have set it down, picked up People Magazine? Well, I'm not saying you did that, but you understand what I'm saying. I get it. You're like me and I'm like you. I get it. Now, why did I dive back into this book? It'd be amazing to tell you the reason. My daughter, who Al has referenced a bunch of times, my daughter came to me about, um, uh, hey, Jordan, that's good. Uh, my, my daughter came to me about a week and a half ago and she found what's called the 75 day challenge. And here's what it is. And I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling you not to do it. Do what you want. It's your life, <laughs> right? But here's what it is. Read 10 pages of a book a day. Alter your eating habits to try to eliminate the things that are not healthy and do an hour of exercise a day and watch where you are in 75 days. That's it. I heard her say that. I'm like, you know what? I mean, anybody can do that. Like anybody can do that. Right. So that's where this came from. And that's why I started to dive back into thinking grow rich. So yesterday on the, on, on the RD call, Hey rocks yesterday on the, on the, um, I love her. Yesterday on the RD call with, with my team and the, and the regional coordinators, I picked one specific thing from this book that really stood out to me. And there's a lot of things, but this was just for our call yesterday. So freaking listen up because I'm giving this to you as well. Okay. So 
here's a, a little excerpt from this book. I'm going to make it very simple, but I'm going to read it word for word. Okay. You guys all signed up in ACN because we want to find a way to be able to generate some income that can bring us some freedom and give us some choices. I know that and you know that we're not going to go there. So we just were on the same page. That's why we did this. But I want you to hear these words, okay? Because you, as you go through ACN, and I've even referenced these phone calls or the, these Zoom calls with Mr. Thomas, all the company calls, all the different team calls, all the different leaders that pour into people. So I want you to hear this, right? And this is with respect to all of them, but I want you to hear this. You ready? I know Mr. Thomas is, okay, here goes expectation of pay for what they know instead of what they do with that which they know. The world does not pay men for that which they know. It pays them for what they do or induce others to do. I cannot express to you how big of a deal this philosophy is. One more time and then I'm done expectation of pay for what they know instead of what they do with that which they know. The world does not pay men for that which they know. It pays them for what they do or induce others to do. So you can have all the knowledge in the world about ACN. You can have it all. You can know this, that, and the other. You can know this frontwards, backwards, left, right, and center. But if you do not put that into action, your business will not grow. It's impossible for it to grow. Stay, by the way, and I don't think I'm misspeaking. I think, I, 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 I think I'm, Mr. Thomas gets me. You guys can plug into these, to this call. You can plug into this call all you freaking want. All you want. He's going to love on you. He's going to hug on you. He's going to welcome you. He's going to be encouraging to you. But if you leave this call and do nothing, I, I can see him nodding his head. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point of learning a playbook and never getting on the field? It, it doesn't make any sense. To me, remember that you get paid for what you do. Now, do you need knowledge? Of course you need knowledge because, because you know, if you have all the knowledge in your life right now, let me congratulate you on arriving. <laughs> Congratulations. You've arrived in life. Like I'm still growing. I hope you're still growing. I'm still learning. Shoot. I don't know anything. I know a little bit, maybe a little bit. Remember that, and remember how important action versus information is, right? How about this? Two choices. Informed person who does nothing, uninformed person who does everything. Do you realize that the uninformed person who actually is just sitting there and trying to copy people and trying to figure out how to make this thing work, eventually they're going to figure it out based on trial and error. Whereas the other person tries to get everything perfect, learn everything perfectly, do everything perfectly, but never takes any action. That person has very, very little chance, if any, to succeed. That's my opinion. I'm one guy, but that's my opinion. You know, it's funny. We talked about Mr. Provenzano's birthday and uh, 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 being today. And here's what he used to, here's what he used to say. He, he, he said, he said, go out and muck it up. Go out and muck it up, man. Like, so what? And make sure you get the letter right at the beginning. <laughs> muck it up. Right? So, so here we go. Now, Al Thomas, 210. <laughs> Jeez, how did you get me doing this, man? We're like, what, two years? Okay, here we go. So. We love uh, you. <laughs> likewise. So so check it out. Um, it's Super Bowl week. It's a Super Bowl. Whether you're a sports fan or not, it is a Super Bowl. So 
I gave this some thought about today. And I don't care who your team is. If you have a team, if you don't have a team, you're going to get this message, I hope. I hope. Dan Marino uh, was a quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, spent his entire career with one year. He was so heralded coming out of college. He was a quarterback at Pitt. Uh, he was phenomenal. For anybody who's a sports fan, you know the name Dan Marino. Arguably, arguably one of the most talented players to ever be at that position. Um, the Dolphins drafted him. And I want you to think about this. He had an amazing team around him. He's an amazingly talented guy. He got to the Super Bowl in his third year in ACN or in, in, in NFL in, in related to ACN. He got to the Super Bowl in his third year in the NFL. Okay. The Super Bowl. I mean, he's, he's still a pup in the league third year in became one of the greatest to ever play the position. Never got back. Never got to the Super Bowl again in his entire NFL career. So I was listening to um, sports radio this morning on, uh, on my way home after dropping my daughter off. And it, th this, this conversation completely changed what I was going to talk to you guys about today. So they were interviewing a player who had been to the Super Bowl um, and believe he actually won it with the, with the Seahawks running back from Alabama named Sean Alexander. And Sean Alexander is a great player. He's a really good, really, really good player, right? Played, bounced around to a couple teams. He's really good. So, so, so here's what he said. Listen up. Here's what he said. He said, you just don't know when you're going to get there. So when you do, make it count. Make it count. You don't know. So I'm thinking of this going, oh my God, I cannot wait to talk to everybody this morning. Now, some of you might be going, well, what is Dean talking about? Make it count. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to relate it directly to what it is that we do. See, if you take this casually and you don't understand the value of the moments in your day to build this business, you're going to miss it. You have to make these moments count. So there's two things I want to talk to you about a moment, all right, to make it count for you. Number one is this. You got to seize the moment, right? What do I mean? Well, when you seize the moment, I'm talking about your daily development. Don't let a day go by. Shoot, my daughter got me reminded to do something every single day. So you got to seize the moment in your daily development. Don't put it off. Do not put it off. Let me tell you something. Every single freaking one of you, you guys have 10 minutes in your day to pick up a book. Do not tell me that you, do, that you don't. Don't tell me that you don't. I'm the wrong person for you to say that to. You do. You have 10 minutes to read 10 pages in a book. Don't tell me that you don't. Don't tell me that you want ACN to happen the way that you want it to, but you can't find 10 minutes in a day with no interruption, no distractions, nobody around you to sit down and just figure it out. Like it was a Daniel, I just figured it out. Just figure out 10 minutes. The second thing is this. You need to sit so and under seize the moment. Number one is your daily development. Number two is the opportunity to peak. You have to seize that moment. That does not mean coming at someone with machine gun, double barrel shotgun and blast them with ACN. That's not what it means. It means the opportunity to peak someone's interest, right? That might just be noticing someone. That might be breaking your routine to put yourself in front of some different people. I want you to recognize the opportunity. Don't just go through your day. And here's the third place to seize the moment. They, seize the moment and the opportunity to get trained. 
And I don't mean just on a call like Mr. Thomas has put here. I mean, like when you have people that are doing a presentation, you have people that are that are launching somebody's business. You, you have someone that is that is uh, making a game plan for someone. Listen in. Take the opportunity to get trained. I heard this years ago from Pat Mazur, number one earner in the company, he and his brother, Mike. Friends. And years ago, here's what he said. He said, listen up. He said, by the way, I was brand new when I heard this, and I still remember to this day. Listen up. He said, we'll give you the information so long as you're willing to go get the information from wherever we have it. Genius. Well, now because of Zoom, guess what? You, get, you have access to this every day. So that's the first part of seizing the moment. Here's the second part make a moment. So you seize the moment and now you have the opportunity to what? Make a moment. And here's how you do it. When you're to make a moment to advance your ACN business, how about breaking the ice with someone who's cold market person? How, how, how do you break the ice? You guys, I've trained you guys on this before. How to build a little bit of rapport quickly, pay someone a compliment. They wear a name tag for a reason. Don't smash them with ACN, build a little rapport, go back in, create a little bit of trust and relationship and a connection with that person. So when you walk into the, the coffee shop, the, 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 the gym, the, the Jamba Juice, the Robex, the, the clothing store, the car wash, the mechanic, that when they see you, they smile. Hey. When you're making a moment, this is a big one, you guys, especially for new people. And I'm cognizant of the time, Mr. Thomas. All right, just so you know. So here's, here's the deal. Be interested, not interesting. Be interested in someone. Don't come in there all like, you know, you're the best thing since sliced bread. I got something great. You need to take a look at this. Really? What do you, you don't know what's going on with that person. They may or may not need to take a look at it. We think they do because we believe in what we have. But you got, you got to let them kind of come to that realization. And how do you do that? You get good at this, this, this peaking process, how to make a moment, be interested in someone, not interesting. You know, like, for example, I'll give you a crazy example, something really silly it just happened right now. I just saw Julian Lewis uh, take a, a drink of coffee. It looked like maybe a Starbucks cup. If I saw Julian, he's a sharp looking guy and he's drinking coffee. I might say something like this. I might say something like this to break this. Hey man, are you addicted like I am? Look, he's already smiling. How hard was that? He's already smiling. But yeah, man. I, I would say, hey, dude, what's your um, what's your what's what's your drink of choice? He tells me what his is, tell me what mine is. And all of a sudden we're talking overseeing a red cup of coffee. Be interested, not interesting. Do not be a bull in a china shop with the opportunity. Do not smash someone with ACN. And sometimes people are, and I get it. Like you're new, you're excited. You're on the verge of a promotion and, or maybe you're really close and, 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 and I get it. But you guys realize that sometimes when people are like that, the very thing that you think is going to be exciting is actually going to push people away too much, too soon. It's like a date. It's like, you know, it's like a date, right? Like you're out on a date with, 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 with the guy or the gal and they're, they're hot. They're, they're nice. They, they're put together. And within the first hour of the date, the person's talking to you about wanting to spend the rest of their life with you, wanting to, where would you want to live? Do you want kids? Like, holy crap, man, we haven't even gotten to appetizers yet. I mean, can you not plan out the rest of my life? And so an hour ago, you were so excited to be with this person. And an hour later, you're looking for anything to escape. Too much too soon. You got to know your environment. You know? I mean, a birthday party, uh, 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 a birthday party, a, no, a, bit, a meeting for another business, uh, maybe a family gathering, you know, uh, 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 maybe a memorial service. I've heard crazy stories. You guys, when you get in the right environment where you're around people, 
and you simply ask them, Hey, how you doing? How's things going? Right. Good, good. Everything's good. Hey, as, as, uh, is this whole pandemic, has this thing just like turned you upside down like it has for me? Well, yeah, it totally has. Well, look, I found something. Are you open to talk about it? Not now, not today, but are you open for a call in a day or two? Yeah, see, right? So, so Marie's already nodding her head. You guys, guess what? That's freaking normal. Can you not, can you not, let me, let me ask you guys a question. Can you not be ACN weird? Can you just kind of be normal? Can, can you be normal? Like, look, like, don't like it, know your environment. And by the way, if you do it properly and you know your environment, that person is going to be looking forward to your call. They're going to be looking forward to that text. If you do it improperly, I guarantee you they're going to put your number on block. So, so here's the thing, right? <laughs> Everybody has, you know, everybody talks about their reason why they're doing this. I need to make more money. This is why I want to make more money, money family, kids, college, get out of debt, blah, 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 all, all the stuff, right? So you have your reason why that you're doing ACN, but here's the deal. And I have it written down right here. If, if not now, when? Oh, Dean, you don't understand. Life's so crazy. I got so much stuff going on. I got the kids doing this. I got the job doing that. I got that. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to freaking hear it. <laughs> what? By the way, how lucky that we're above ground and we all have the opportunity to be able to work through all those issues. There's a lot of people that would trade places with you right freaking now. They would. They would trade places with you right now. So if not now, when? And here's the question. If not now, when? And are you okay putting your reason why on hold? Are you okay putting your reason why on hold? And if you are, then put it on hold. Don't do ACN or just observe and don't participate. I hope you guys don't want to observe and and, and not participate. I hope you guys want to participate. Get bloodied up, make this time count. So you don't look back and go, oh man, five services, one rep, five services, 825 bucks. Are you kidding me? Do you remember that? Do you remember when we could have built before group share insurance? Do you remember when we could have built before the continued expansion of Latin America? Do you remember? That's right now. Get it clear. The company's done their part. The services, the comp plan. Yeah, you guys, I'm so over the I'm, I'm too busy stuff. You want to know what it is? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Whoever you're talking to, they have someone or something that they love to do. Listen up. Everyone that you talk to has someone or something that they like to do or someone that they want to spend time with or someone that they would go see. So let's say, let's say you are, let's say you are uh, um, a music person. You are complete, you, you, whoever, it doesn't matter. Jay-Z, you freaking love, you love them. Love them. And I said to you, listen, front row tickets and backstage passes VIP to Jay-Z at the LA Forum um, uh, in two days. Guess what you're doing? You're changing everything to be there. Don't tell me you wouldn't. Maybe you're a LeBron fan and I have front row seats. You're, you're rearranging. Don't tell me that. So when your reason why becomes as important as celebrating these other people and what they're doing, I'm letting you know you're going to win. And until such time, it, it's, it, it's, I'm not saying that you can't win, but it's going to be a struggle and it's going to be a grind because it hasn't been prioritized properly. Expectation of pay. 
for what they know instead of what they do with that which they know. The world does not pay men for that which they know. It pays them for what they do or induce others to do. So what are you going to do?